How is it going everyone? It is Wilson Players here and today I am back with another Frost of Winter video. Today we're going to be doing one thing and one thing only which might be a little bit controversial and that is we're going to be collecting the mystery boxes. Now I'll get into why it's controversial shortly but um, if you missed the previous video which I have a feeling you did because it didn't nearly get as many views as the streams have so far but if you did miss it it is linked in the top right hand corner of your screen. Uh, if you want to go check that one out. Uh, it was a bit of a grindy episode, so similar to this, but a bit more grindy. But um, here we are. That's the first mystery box. It's in St. Mark's Beast. I used the back entrance so I didn't get shot up like mad. And we're getting to the second one here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get into why this might be a little bit controversial. I did put up a package there because it was in the doorway. Um, basically, the reason this is controversial is when you collect all 10 mystery boxes, um, you basically become invincible. I think the only thing, I've not tested it yet, but I think the only thing that will kill you in the future is if you're inside a car when it explodes or you can possibly still drown. Well, I'm guessing you can still drown. Um, but other than that, you're invincible, which that'll be controversial because it means the rest of the series, any video, any missions that I do are going to be incredibly easy because I won't die. Uh, well, maybe. Um, so yeah, uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. I did ask Discord uh, what they thought about it, and because it's an in-game feature and I'm not technically cheating, um, they were okay with it. So that's why I did it anyway. Also, you can see I'm getting $10,000 per mystery box, which money is still a bit of an issue at the minute. So that's why that's well that's good that we're getting ten grand a mystery box. You can see I picked up the second one from that building near Callahan Bridge. Uh, running to the third one now, uh, which is in this tunnel just opposite Pay and Spray. But uh, yeah, this video uh, took quite a while to put together, uh, shall we say? Also in this clip, I buy a few properties in this episode as well. Um, just buying head radio station there for thirty grand. Um, but yeah, this video is going to go up a little bit late, later than usual, 7pm UK time rather than the usual 6. That's because it took me ages to record, like I've had nearly two hours worth of footage to edit down into this video. Uh, because some of the mystery boxes you'll see later, uh, as you can see buying the airport parking lot for 10 grand there, but, but um, some of these mystery boxes later were incredibly difficult to get and also, I've been really busy today as well, sort of in personal life, from a personal life standpoint. So I've not been able to have 100% full focus on getting this video ready. Uh, that's why it's going out at 7 instead of 6. Uh, but that's not going to matter to you guys because by the time you're hearing me say this, you'll already be watching. Uh, but we're getting the 4th, is it the 4th? I believe it's the 4th mystery box right now. And... Uh, yeah, um, it's going to be interesting to see what you say in the comments about me getting all these mystery boxes because after I've got them, I'm going to be invincible, which is obviously <laughs> it's going to make the rest of the game really, really easy. But I guess in in that sense, it helps me complete the game before Christmas because um, that's one of my targets to actually get the series done by Christmas. Um, otherwise it's not going to be massively relevant <laughs> if I don't do that and it's just a target of mine so that's why we we are rushing along here and uh, it's going to really really help me um, the rest of the, the entirety of this video barring a few uh, property purchases is literally me collecting these mystery boxes it took ages as I said earlier um, there you go, this is an enterable building near Pain Spray. Uh, through getting some of these mystery boxes, I'm sure, sort of showing you some interiors that you probably wouldn't have seen unless you hunt for these mystery boxes. Um, obviously, the one that was near Kenji's had an openable door. This Pain Spray has an openable door, or near it, should I say. Um, and of course, St. Mark's Bistro and that building that's near the Callahan Bridge also has an open openable door. So I'm showing you a few of the interiors. Here you can see I'm buying the stadium, uh, which I should have done earlier for the grinding that I had to do with the race. But here you go. That's That was 70,000. Um, and that's the final property that I actually buy in this video. Um, 
I think there's probably one or two more properties that I need to buy uh, before I can move on. Um, I'm not sure I need to look that up, but we've got most of them now. And as you'll see at the end of the video, we should be okay for money in or, uh, to actually buy the rest of them. Uh, with everything that we've done in the previous video, as well as uh, all the mystery boxes here. Um, but yeah. Uh, here's one in a cave that's sort of near the near the uh, stadium in Staunton Island. It's a little bit finicky to get to. This one. Um, I nearly died getting this one, you'll see here. Um, that drop, nothing, of course. Fall damage of GTA, GTA 3 is just really shit. But here, because it's in the water, I actually got stuck in the water there. And uh, left me on 19 health, so that one's a bit dangerous to get. Um, but it's fine. Here, um, if, if you're an OG viewer who watched my very first playthrough of Frost and Winter back in 2016, you'll probably remember this tunnel. I remember visiting it in a, a extras episode that I did, uh, which was like streams that I did to try and get towards 100% uh, in the mod. And um, you'll remember this tunnel. And you can see it's sort of behind the billboard. And uh, we move on to this clip here um, where I speed it up. What's going on here? Did I make a... Oh, no, it's the next clip that I speed up. Never mind. But you can see running through this tunnel. Um, I actually show you here. I'm just running through. But this is quite a long run. And uh, eventually I do actually speed it up. Um because it's quite a long run, you can see, and it's also, I'm here at night time, so you can't, I can't actually see where I'm going. I'm sort of trying to view the, as you can see, like clipping through the wall to try and see where I'm going. Uh, but then, here you go, speeding it up. Um, because, yeah, it's an incredibly long run in order to get where the mystery box is. But you just keep running along, you'll see a right turn eventually. Um, I'm still looking for it. So it's a good job I sped this part up. Um... There's a right turn somewhere up here, uh, which leads you into a cave. And uh, once you're in the cave, uh, the mystery box is pretty much there. As you can see, I'm on two health, so I've got to be careful with any drops or whatever, otherwise it's going to kill me. Uh, so here's the room. Uh, just looking for the, a ramp to get down. Obviously, if I dropped down there, I would have died, uh, which is not fun. But there's the ramp to go down, and uh, the mystery box is in the middle here. So... That's uh, mystery box number seven, I believe. Oh no, it was number eight. Number eight. These ones. Oh my god. This is where the most of my time, my recording time actually went. These ones are ridiculous. I am sorry. I love... The, obviously, the reward that you get for getting all mystery boxes is great. Being invincible and all the money it's going to give you. Because money is really important in this mod. Yeah, It's great. Um to get in the rewards for this but honestly you know what I how I feel about collectibles in GTA games anyway I just think they're very tedious and I think they're just I don't know they I I just don't think they should exist to be honest but obviously if you're getting a hundred percent in any GTA game you need to do the collectibles um which is not why I was getting these I was getting these for the money and the reward but yeah, you greeted with this maze, and this bit's sped up because I literally run around ages trying to find where to go, and I have absolutely no idea. Um, I don't know the route, so this is just a sped up clip of me running through the maze until I find out where I'm going, and um, eventually we will come across a hole in the ground, uh, which is called the Abyss, uh, quite uh, cleverly named there. Um... But yeah, <laughs> I don't know my route for through this, and there's no clear guide on the on YouTube either. So please don't use this as a guide to get in all mystery boxes because it just doesn't. It's just not. It's just not a guide at all. <laughs> um, the next bit, I suppose, is a guide. But there you go. I'm at the abyss, and I leave it sped up because I drop down. You're supposed to drop down perfectly onto this red path, and then for whatever reason, I fell off. I walked straight forward, is what I was supposed to do. Uh, but for some reason, I fell straight off. I'm not entirely sure why, but yeah, I fell. But here is, I'm just stood here. Um, here is the actual successful attempt at the abyss. Here you go. So, drop down like I did. I didn't land straight on the path this time, so I don't know why I didn't fall off that time. 
but you can see this red path, I believe it's redstone, which is, or supposed to be redstone, which it's obviously gives you Minecraft vibes, I guess, I don't know. But this is incredibly thin. You can fall off both on the left and the right. It's just a really thin path. And this is what I was going to get onto. Um, is I don't like collectibles in GTA games as it is. But when they are this ridiculous to find. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a massive fan of it. It's a good job that doing this gives you nice bonuses. Like with the money and, and then the invincibility. Otherwise, there is absolutely no way I would have done this. Even if I looked up a guide, just no. Like, honestly, it's ridiculous. I I genuinely don't know what went through the mod creators' heads when they created this. I mean, it's great because it's challenging and it gives you a nice reward for completing the challenge. But yeah, you you basically making something that's already tedious as it is, collectibles in GTA games, and then making them even more tedious. So, not a massive fan of this. I mean, I got to this bit, uh, you'll see me pause the game in a second because I was unsure which way to go, so I referred to a guide that I was watching. Oh, I didn't pause the... Uh, well, I did pause the game, but it, it's clear that I edited it out. Great. <laughs> I, yeah, it's been a long day, guys, so I don't actually know what I've done to this video. Uh, 100%. But here you go, very, very slowly walking along the redstone path. I mean, I could have sped this up, but I thought I'd just show you just how tedious this was. I mean, I'm, honestly, you, like I said, you're making something that's already tedious even more tedious. But I guess it's a challenge, I don't know. Um, all I can say is it wasn't fun. <laughs> but this was actually only my second attempt doing this. I think the worst bit about getting this particular mystery box was the maze at the start because obviously I didn't know the route really I mean it was just a guess run keep running until I actually found the the hole in the ground that I needed but yeah tedious as hell I, I know it's ridiculous but thanks to doing this we might be able to crack on with some actual story things in the next sort of video or stream I don't know which one it will be uh, so keep your eyes open and your ears open to Discord and obviously YouTube itself um, to actually find out what I'll be doing next. Um, but we've made a significant amount of progress in both the previous video and this one uh, because we pretty much, if we don't already have all the properties, which I doubt we do, um, there's that mystery box. And then to get out, you don't need to follow the path, just fall and it'll spawn you in Stones and Island like you saw in the previous clip. So here we are then. Um, next clip. We're going back to where we were initially. I know, you have to drive all the way from Staunton back to where we were. Um, I didn't say this in the previous clip, I've just realised. Um, it's Sto uh, it's Ghost Town. Um, you probably already guessed that, but uh, either way, it's Ghost Town that we need to go to. Um, but yeah, the 10th and final mystery box is back here, which is yeah a bit tedious. Driving all the way from Staunton again to come to here. But anyway, it's fine. Uh, so where you need to go here is straight on, uh, basically to this tunnel area. But you're not going in the tunnel. I don't know where that takes you. Maybe it's the other side of Shoreside Vale Dam, maybe. And you have to go for a very long run. And as you can see, I speed it, speed it up here because this run is incredibly long. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not fun. It really isn't. I mean, you maybe could have used a car, but then you're dealing with off-road physics that in the snow which if you've watched if you've watched this mod um my videos and streams and stuff or played this mod yourself you know exactly what that's like so you're probably better off running otherwise you're just gonna get annoyed at it um but yeah we're going for a very very long run <laughs> um so yeah like i said two two and a bit hours this took to record um and then, of course, editing and stuff for me being busy today. It's been a ridiculous day. And you're lucky that I could get this video out today, in all honesty. But I worked my ass off for this. So if you enjoyed the video at, at all so far, please hit the like button. I'm going to say that, obviously, at the outro as well. But, yeah. And you get to this building in the middle of nowhere. You need to walk all the way down. There's a bit of a cut here because I had no idea where I was going. Um, but um, you need to go 
very far down. There's a few openings. Um, you want to ignore them. You want to go to, I believe it's the the absolute bottom opening. Uh, I don't think there's any more after that. Uh, oh, what am I doing there? That was weird. Um, and yeah, after searching around, you get to this point where you need to jump uh, across. And then there's the 10th and final mystery box. And there you go. It gives us around 100k, I believe. And uh, you're much more immune to damage now, um, it, it says. I guess it couldn't say immune because um, you're not fully immune. But you know what I mean. Anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. I cut it there because there was nothing else that happened after that. I didn't do anything else. But if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, get subscribed, all that stuff. And um, leave in the comments what you feel about that getting all the mystery boxes and then getting the perk for it because it, obviously it makes the game incredibly easy from now on. But guys, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, like I said, hit the like button and uh, I shall see you in the next one. Take care, guys.